I'm not used to do videos like this, but I have to tell you a, a thing that has happened uh, to me. And it was like this. I was friends with an artist, a music artist. On uh, yeah, I have been like friends, friends on social media uh, for some years, talking on on off with him um, for uh, yeah about some things you know usual things, nothing special. But anyways, um, this man. Uh, he's the former guitarist from Stratovarius, from the metal band Stratovarius. His name is Timo Tolki. And he... Yeah, he has been friends and little like... Yeah, ordinary chats, you know. And this is a real person, not a scam person or anything, so he's the real dude uh, which I've been talking to and so on. Um, one day he sent me a message that he is in deep trouble, deep shit, and he needs help. He sent me a message that uh, he told me that he was taken by the Mexican police. They were beating him up for two days. He was in jail for two days. They was uh, he was hurt. He was in, in real trouble, and he needed money to because it he was missing money to a plane ticket back to Finland um, so he needed 300 euros to borrow 300 euros he would pay back within two weeks um, I was like uh, what the hell is happening you know and this is quite unreal um, but I decided to borrow him 300 euros. I send them to Western Union where he needs to, you know, uh, ID himself with passport and everything to get the money. So uh, it went well. I have the receipts and everything from that. Um, he even sent me a picture with the money and uh, was sending a voice message saying thank you and everything and send me a text yeah you are an angel and everything helping yeah, I was like okay uh, of course I'm helping if uh, a person is in distress you know this kind of super uh, trouble you know and um, then I was like thinking, yeah, I guess he doesn't want uh, this uh, to come out to media or anything. Uh, so I understood somehow why he's contacting like a nobody like me, you know, to ask uh, for a loan. Uh, but anyways, I decided to borrow him that. Then I didn't hear anything for two days. After two days, I thought he has already fl flying to Finland or traveling or whatever. Um, but he told me, he sent me a message after two days, told me, yeah, the, the airline ticket prices has gone up. Um, I would need another 300 euros 
I was like, uh, what? I was thinking, no, this is not a good feeling. This is something weird now. Then I started to look up airline ticket prices, and I saw that the ordinary airlines it cost about uh, one thousand six hundred dollars to fly from Monterrey, Mexico to Helsinki, Finland. So they were expensive tickets. So I told him, uh, what if I can find you a cheap, cheap ticket, you know? I can find you, I send you a link, you know, and you can get a ticket much cheaper. I actually did that and I found a ticket for about $700, $760 or something like that. Send him that. But he said, no, 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 I have to uh, take care of a couple of things here before I can book the ticket. And I was like, okay, okay, if he's leaving Mexico for good, you know, he was living there. So if he's leaving uh, there for good, then he needs to take care maybe of some things. So I believe in him. Um, some how why I don't know <laughs> because I had this gut feeling there is something missing right here but anyways uh, I borrowed him that second 300 euros I sent them to his bank account uh, in his Finnish bank account Nordea Bank um, in his name and everything. Uh, I have his address, Finnish address, bank account numbers, receipts from these transfers too. So 600 euros he borrowed me. Uh, yes, when he borrowed the first 300 euros he said, I'm going to pay you back within two weeks. When he borrowed the second 300 euros, it was the same two weeks. Uh, he was going to pay me. He said, yeah, I need to get back to Finland, then you can get the money. I was okay. Uh, I was uh, like, okay. Um, of course I help you, you know. You are in trouble. And I was thinking, okay, what would I think if I was in trouble and nobody's helping me, you know? So, and uh, I knew that he was the real person and I couldn't ever imagine this person would scam somebody. I, that just didn't exist in my <laughs> my mind uh, because he has much more to lose if he scams people he's a famous person he can uh, get money in many ways I gave him even suggestions how he can make money you know through patreon and everything because I noticed he has these patreon accounts they are like not well made you know um, he didn't have any way to fans to send him money easy you know through patreon or become a patreon he was only selling like some tips and tricks to other artists and stuff but anyways um, yeah um, Then after uh, a couple of days he sent me, yeah, I have booked a ticket to Finland. I'm going to fly there on Tuesday, I think he said. I was like, oh, yeah, okay, great, you know, great for you. And on Wednesday, 
I sent him some message and asked him, oh, have you arrived, you know, yeah. I didn't get any answers, oh no, two, three days or something. Then he answered me and told me, yeah, he hasn't could, he hasn't answered me because his mother got sick he, in Finland. He was there at his mother's place and stuff. I was like, okay, yeah, yeah I hope your mother gets well, you know, and everything. But, yeah. Um, this guy was lying about everything. Everything. Everything was a lie. He was still living in Mexico. He just wanted money. He wanted to scam people. Uh, I can imagine that I'm not the only one he has scammed. I heard from some media places that he has asked money from them as well, you know. There are some YouTube interviews with uh, Timo and he told, uh, one of them told me that yeah, he has asked him also to borrow money but he never borrowed him money because he had got a warning from a friend uh, some time before that, so he knew, already knew that he was asking for money and stuff. Uh, so this this is in system. It seems that he is he has a system of asking money from people. Um, Yeah, then, uh, anyways, uh, I'm sorry if this takes a little while. Uh, English is my third language. Um, and I'm talking right from my head. I don't have some paper or any notes or anything. I'm just trying to, you know, remember what happened here. Yeah. Yeah, but anyways, he, uh, I was asking him after the two weeks has gone, I was asking him, yeah, uh, do you have a date, uh, you know, when can you pay me back? And he said, yeah, I, w I need uh, more time for you to get your 600 euros back. I was like, okay, um, I'm going to travel myself, make a trip, and uh, I told him, okay, I can give you a couple of weeks more. So uh, I actually went to my trip and I didn't communicate with him at all. And when I came back from the trip, I sent him a message. Yeah, can you tell me any date, you know, so I know. Um, I really need the money and I'm not a rich person. Um, can you give me a date when you can pay me back? I didn't get any answer from him. And uh, some days went by. Then I noticed some things on social media. And I realized he never left Mexico. Um, he was still living there. Nothing has happened, so everything was a lie. And then I decided I have to confront him and tell him that, you know, I wrote, wrote him that, yeah, I don't care if you lied, you know. I don't care about 
the lies. I just want my money back so I can forget about this and I can forget about you. <laughs> because I was really tired at that point. So um, then I wrote uh, to him that if you have decided, uh, if you already had decided that you are not going to pay back the loan, uh, think about this because uh, is it worth 600 euros for you to scam somebody, get your reputation destroyed? Uh, after that, he told me that to fuck off and I am an idiot. Then he blocked me on all social media and in the end he blocked me on uh, mail also. That's it. That is what happened. He just took my money, blocked me. Yeah. And he, he's just getting away with it. Nobody's doing nothing. My, I have some friends in Colombia and they made a video about this in Spanish. I put a link in the des description here to the video. And actually they made two videos in Spanish about this. And uh, they are also mus musicians, you know, and they uh, play in a band. And uh, they have two friends that are from Mexico, so they have some connections to that music industry over there. And they are, have heard some stuff about this demo, what he's doing and stuff. Uh, I guess that doesn't concern me, you know, that's, uh, that's a problem uh, that people need to take care of, you know, for themselves, but I need to warn you about this person. He is uh, often writing like about God and uh, the key to universe is love and stuff like that. Uh, it doesn't fit his uh, what he's doing because he's playing like a saint and being this soft, very comfortable person, but. He seems to be like a snake escaped from hell. Yeah.